So the other day I was out and about and I was vaping on this sucker and this is the Stellaire Mark IV RDA which is what we're going to be talking about today but I was out and about and I see this guy and he's vaping on a sub on tank sucking on that bad boy. I think it was like an Atlantis or an Arctic. Well he comes up to me and he's like dude he sees that I'm vaping on an RDA and he's like tanks are the future RDAs are the past and I walk up to him I get closer and I just laugh at his face. <laughs> No, you're crazy. RDAs aren't going anywhere. RDAs are staying right here. There's so many vapors out there that like to build their own coils. They don't want to pop a coil head in there. Don't get me wrong, tanks. I love tanks. I've reviewed a bunch of them. Love them. The vapor production off those sub ohm tanks are just as good as an RDA. Damn near just as good. But the problem is the flavor's not. With any RDA, you are dripping on top of that coil. It's not like the juice feeds up from a tank to the coil, to the wicking coil. You're dripping on there. You're going to get saturated, the most saturated vape. And then on top of that, it goes back to the builds. You you can control what build you put in here. A Clapton, Fuse Clapton, Staple, Alien build. I mean, on and on and on. All these new builds that are popping up that make the flavor even better and better and better. No cool head out there is going to match that. RDAs aren't going anywhere. So yeah, I hope you learned from that conversation. But today we're going to be talking about the Stellaire Mark IV RDA. It's got a velocity style deck on there. You got adjustable airflow at the top. You also have adjustable airflow at the base. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and vape on her, okay? The build I have in here is just a standard dual macro using 24 gauge Canthal. She's reading a 0.3 ohms. I vapor at 45 watts and I got the airflow closed off at the top and opened up at the bottom. Here we go. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to dive down, show you this thing up close and personal. We'll come back, talk about the pros and the major con that I found for this, and then I'll let you know if I lost this sucker today when I go out tomorrow and buy one. Alrighty, so here's the packaging. The Stellaire Mark IV comes in. It comes in this metal type 10. Pop the lid, and inside we got our Stellaire Mark IV RDA along with this stainless steel 510 drip tip adapter. First things first, boys and girls, let's go ahead and start with this stainless steel 510 drip tip adapter. Now look at this. It's got a beautiful sheen to it along with the rest of this device. It's absolutely gorgeous. There are a few scratches to it, but that's all my doing. When I first received this, it was mint, mint, mint. And you see these threads right underneath the top cap? That's what screws into the barrel. Nice, smooth threads. So here she is, an up-close view of this Stellaire Mark IV RDA. Now, a few specs for you. She's primarily made of 304 grade stainless steel. She's 22 millimeters in width, and she's about 33 millimeters in height with this wide bore stainless steel drip tip. So here's a breakdown of this RDA for you. You got the deck section, the barrel section, the adjustable airflow ring section, the stainless steel wide bore drip tip slash top cap section, and the stainless steel 510 drip tip adapter. Here's the deck section. It's got that velocity style post design going on. The side mount screws are flat heads, which is a first for me. I like them better than Phillips head or grub nuts. You really never have to worry about stripping these bad boys. It's got a deep juice well, five millimeter deep. Oh yeah, and the post holes are two millimeter. Two millimeter all across the board. You got airflow that runs underneath the coil, as you guys can see on both sides. And the build I have in here is a dual fuse Clapton build. I'm using 36 gauge Nichrome N80 and 24 gauge A1 Canthal. It uses a peak insulator to insulate the positive post, which is right here, and then the negative post is milled into the deck. Dual O-ring at the lip. At the base it says Stellaire V4 510 thread, smooth, smooth, smooth. The adjustable 510 pin, it is adjustable. It's made of silver plated copper. But the problem is, and this is gonna be a big con for me, it doesn't make a connection with some of my mods. That's screwed all the way in. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew her a couple turns. Look at that, wobbly already. Wobble, 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 wobble. And I mean, look at that, it's barely even protruding. And it just gets worse and worse and worse. Alrighty, so I got a few mods to my right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and screw them on there and show you how this thing is not compatible. It doesn't make a connection. Even when I screw the, the pin out, the pin tends to screw right back in. It doesn't make a connection. And it's because the pin is too loose. The tolerance is not right. It wobbles around too much. Alrighty, so before we move any further, I do wanna show you this. Here's the Panzer 200 watt, and I wanna go ahead and state that this device, as you guys saw in FaceTime, I was vaping on it with the uh, with this device, the Stellar V4 matched with this. It vaped fine, but then it stopped working. I shot the FaceTime before I shot this, obviously, and that was a day ago and then I go to screw the uh, Stellaire V4 on here and it just doesn't fire it's not making connection you'll see that as we move forward it's just something I want to mention because I, I know if I don't it'll confuse you guys it kind of baffles me but I do think it's something to do with the pin the pin in the Stellaire V4 not this mod it's definitely not this mod because everything else that I screw on here it makes a connection go ahead and screw her in there that's what she said Hit the fire button, check atomizer, check atomizer. It's not making a connection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull this pin out a few turns. Try firing her up. 
Check Atomizer. Same thing on the Sesamwa Touch Mod. It's not firing it up. So I went ahead and tried to take the wattage up. No atomizer detected. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it on this Laissimo mod. No go. So yeah, those three mods are not compatible with this device. Now I will say this, I've got 20 mods in total and 17 out of the 20 are compatible. It works fine. And all the mods that I have tested are regulated. Here, let me show you, I got three of them. I'm not gonna go through all 20 or all 17 that work with this, but I'm gonna show you three of them that work with it just to give you an idea. Oh yeah, and by the way, this Fuse Clapton, this isn't the build that I vaped on in FaceTime. I just vaped on a regular standard 24 gauge macro build. So yeah, 130 watts. Look at her go. Gonna go ahead and pop it on this Twisted Messes 150 watt box mod. So now I have this RDA sitting on this Project S200. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up at 115 watts. Back to the rest of this device, here is the barrel. You got two slots up top that are parallel, two slots down below that are parallel for your adjustable airflow. Here are the threads in the top of the barrel for the top cap to screw into. And here's the adjustable airflow ring for the top airflow. You got the two slots that are parallel, seven millimeter by two millimeter. A close up view of this wide board drip tip slash top cap. So how the top adjustable airflow works is you pop the adjustable airflow ring on there and you can adjust. But before you do that, you gotta pop the top cap on there and the top cap holds it in place. Threads are smooth. Loosen up just a little bit, back it out, and then adjust the airflow to your liking. Tighten her down and she stays into place. She's not going anywhere. Like I showed you guys before, you got a standard 510 drip tip adapter. You could pop the other one out, pop this one in if you wanna use your standard 510 drip tips. Again, if you want to adjust the airflow, loosen the top cap just a little bit, adjust it to your preferred, tighten her down. Now to adjust the bottom airflow, what you got to do is just slide that barrel on that deck. Oh yeah. Perfect amount of restrictedness. I love it. It's not too loose. It's not too tight. It's on the looser side for sure, but it's not too loose. But to adjust, all you do is twist. Close her off, close her off. Whatever you adjust on this side is going to be the exact same on this side. So that right there, boys and girls, is a close-up view of the Stellaire Mark IV RDA. Let's go ahead and take her back to FaceTime. Pro number one, airflow, airflow, airflow. You got adjustable airflow that sits up top, adjustable airflow down below, as you guys saw. It's easy to adjust the airflow, whether it's up top or down below. And I tell you what, man, the airflow is smooth, smooth, smooth. It's like the Kennedy, Kennedy 22, Kennedy 24. I love these velocity style decks. This one, it has, hoo, hoo, hoo. it's got flathead screws on the side mounts, which is even better than the Phillips head screws. This sucker right here has got a deep juice well, five millimeter deep you got plenty of room to build on it's got two millimeter post holes you can use thick wire oh yeah but it doesn't have a crazy amount of room it's nothing like the 30 millimeter dripper okay it's about the same size the same amount of room as the last rda what was that last rda it's about the same amount of room as the hattie or the h addy personally i love the stainless steel wideboard drip tip that comes with this i think it's super comfortable the first thing i noticed when i pulled this rda out of the package was the build quality i give it a good eight and a half nine out of a ten that's how good man no burrs no scratches clean 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 one rinse one wash and i was good to go. Oh yeah, back to the Velocity Style Deck. Super convenient to build on. Easiest RDA to build on, these Velocity Style Deck RDAs. Not just this one, but all these other RDAs that have the Velocity Style Deck. Super convenient. Just takes no time at all. So the online shop that sent this bad boy to me to review for you guys is selling it for 65 bucks. Now 65 bucks to me for the build quality, 8.5, 9 out of a 10. This thing was just, oh man, spotless through and through. Hell yeah, I think 65 bucks is a competitive price. The way this thing vapes, all the pros I mentioned, it's worth it. For me, it's worth it. But the problem is, and this leads me to talk about the big question, the big answer of the day. I'm gonna go ahead and skip all the baloney pony and say no, I would not buy this RDA for one reason. It's because this thing has not been compatible. It has not made a connection with 15% of the mods that I own right now. That is not a good success rate. Can't recommend it to any of you guys. Cartel mods, you fix it, you make it to where it's compatible with more mods. And yeah, I'd buy it. I think about it, but not right now. Uh-uh. No can do. Okay, so here's another close-up view of this silver plated copper adjustable 510 pin, the one that goes in my RDA. Now, the reason why I'm showing you guys this is because I tested a buddy of mine's out. He has a Stellaire Mark IV RDA, and I didn't have the issues that I was having with this one. His Stellaire Mark IV RDA was compatible with all the mods that mine's not compatible with, and I was like, what the hell? I measured both 510 connections to make sure that they're the same length, and they are, but what I did not measure was the 510 pin. So now what I'm thinking is the culprit is this 510 pin. Mine, the tolerance is just loose. It's just really loose. It's wobbly. His tolerances were not that loose. It was actually pretty tight, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because Cartel Ma 
watts, if you guys are watching, it may be your 510 pin. Now, this may be the only one. Maybe it's a very small percent that are having this issue. Maybe I'm just the only one. I don't know. But I got to point it out because I'm having these issues. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.